Good morning, this is Dennis Miracle. Today I'll be making uh, what is pictured here on the screen, which I'm calling the Tourmaline Purse. It's part of my semi-precious and vintage collection of purses, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy watching me make it. And so let's walk over to the cutting table where I'll show you the different pieces you need to make this purse. And I'll show you what you need to make this. You need, this is going to be my lining fabric. You need two pieces cut at seven by 11 inches. You need uh, a piece of fabric, which will be your main fabric on your, the first piece of fabric that's put down on the front of your purse, just one piece. And uh, I'm using this at seven by 11 you will need two pieces. Uh, this is going to be my applique fabric and also the second piece will be the fabric that goes on the back of the purse and it is, you need it to be cut at least 7 by 11. I've actually left this probably uh, 9 by 11. Uh, just That's just the way I ended up cutting it, but it needs to be at least 7 by 11. You need two pieces of batting. Uh, one batting at 7 by 11, one piece of batting at 6 by 11. You might want to use these uh, little uh, devices here, which will connect uh, crossbody straps. They are simply grain ribbon cut three inches in length with a key ring placed in the middle and stapled at the top to hold them together. You will need a zipper. This pink zipper is uh, 14 inches long. That should be more than sufficient. Uh, it's probably a little bit too long. Could get by maybe with a 12 inch zipper, but you need it definitely uh, long enough to go past the uh, side uh, lines of the purse. So 12 to 14 inches uh, should do. And so let's go over to the uh, machine. And uh, let me take this out of the hold on. I'll be right back. All right, I have taken, uh, I've run the first step here in the six by 10 hoop. Uh, and um, I wanted to show you the first thing we're gonna do is place our zipper. And you can see there are four lines here. One, one, two, three, and four. Take your zipper if it's a number three nylon zipper, it should be approximately an inch wide. Take and place your zipper uh, just between these the top and bottom line. It should fit perfectly. And uh, take them, take the zipper and place it. And uh, I always put a little piece of tape right at the edge here. And then I'll tape it down right here with a, a long uh, piece of tape and I'll tape it over here with another long piece of tape. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, you can see that I have, uh, let me get this to focus. I have taped that uh, down on the zipper pull end. I've taped it in the center there and I've taped it here at the uh, other end, the opposite end with a long piece of tape. So I'm going to put this in the machine and run step number two, which will simply sew the zipper down. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, you can see that the uh, zipper has been sewn down. What we need to do now is turn the hoop over to the back side, take our piece of lining fabric, put it face down, and it should be edge to edge with this bottom line here. It would be the fourth line or the bottom line down. Make sure it's spaced uh, appropriately between the two side lines, side sewing lines, and uh, tape it down. All right, now 
pick the hoop up and let the uh, piece of lining just fall over to the front side and uh, take the lining fabric and fold it over several times and take it and uh, tape it to the frame of the hoop because we won't need it for a number of uh, steps and it needs to be out of the way. And take your uh, main uh, fabric, the first fabric you're going to put down on the front of the hoop, take it, which it's going to be this pretty color here for me, and uh, line it up with the edge of the zipper now that we can see the zipper. Make sure it's centered between the two ends or two side lines and tape it down. All right, now stick this in the machine and let's, uh, it will uh, sew this top piece and the bottom piece down. So let's do that. All righty. Let me grab the hoop off the machine, which I should have done already. And let's see what we have here. Well, it looks nice on the front side. Let's look at the back. Perfect. All right, so back to the front. Now we need to take uh, our, I told you to cut two pieces of batting. We need to take the six by 11 piece of batting and uh, the smaller piece of batting you cut and we're going to place it right under the stitch line here about an eighth of an inch quarter of an inch or so fits perfectly in the hoop now take your fabric and fold it down over my iron is off again take it and fold it down smooth it down and uh, come on iron let's see all right okay there we are uh, so uh, we've got a nice little crease along the top here which is what I like um, and we're going to put it back in the machine and step number four is simply what I'm started calling a basting uh, stitch just to go around all four sides and hold every hold the top piece in place while we start our uh, pretty quilting and uh, applique work so let me stick that in the machine and run number four and I'll be right back. Okay, number step number four has been completed. It's kind of an optional step. A lot of folks don't run step four. If you do, fine. If you don't, fine. It just, I like to just know that it's held down. And um, so it's pretty much optional, but that's just the way I've always made these bags, so that's the way I continue, but it's up to you. So uh, step number five, we'll stick it back in the machine. It is going to run the first uh, step of the, the first placement step for the next piece of fabric. So let me do that. All right, you can uh, see that I've run the first placement uh, step and let me take the uh, piece of fabric I'm going to be using uh, and uh, place it. This is so pretty. It's called uh, I think Morning Song by Northcott. Uh, and uh, I'll just give it a little press here to Make sure it stays there. So let me run the next step. And this will uh, tack down or sew down this. So I'll be right back.
All right, uh, as you can see, this has been sewn down. And what I'm going to do now off camera is take my uh, applique scissors and I'm going to cut on this side of the stitch line, the upper side, and I'm going to just start from the side here, cut straight in and cut along as close as I can. As you see, I'm doing and right off the side. So in essence, what we will have left is this bottom part here. So this top part will be gone. So anyhow, let's do that and I'll be right back. All right, you can see that I have trimmed the top portion and I'm going to put in the machine and uh, the pretty uh, stitching will occur. The uh, what I call border stitching instead of satin stitching will occur right here to cover these raw edges. So just uh, hold on a moment and I'll be right back. All right, you can see that the uh, pretty rope uh, border has been uh, run and uh, it looks really beautiful, I think. I'm going to go ahead and the next step is to run the outlining of the border and I'm going to change colors to uh, a green that uh, is sort of like the green here, hopefully close enough to that. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do now and run this uh, border uh, or, or run the outline to the border. So I'll be back in a moment. All righty. You can see that I ran, uh, what was it, step uh, seven or eight, I'm not sure, and it has put the lovely uh, uh, outlining with the green uh, thread that I had chosen. I think, I think it looks very nice. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, the next uh, thing that needs to be done is put the hoop back in the machine and uh, this next step will run this emblem right here and show us where to place uh, the piece of fabric and I'm going to take what I cut out here fits there perfectly I'm going to take what I cut out and I'm going to use uh, some piece of this as my uh, applique piece for this uh, what's soon going to be outlined so let me do that and I'll be right back all right, you can see that the emblem outline has been run and I'm going to take, uh, I cut this little piece off of that uh, bigger piece and I'm going to place it well right there and put a little piece of tape on it and I'm going to run the tack down. So I'll do that now. Okay, you can see that uh, this piece of fabric has been sewn down right here and I'm going to take my applique scissors and trim on the outside of the stitches all the way around here and uh, then the next step will be to run the beautiful stitching as in here with uh, the uh, outlining also but let me trim this and I'll show you what that looks like be right back all right you can see that I have trimmed that and I'm going to now take it and put it in the machine and let it do the uh, rope stitching uh, so, and then after that, I'll just leave it in there to do the outlining also and get those two steps done. So I'll be back in a bit. All right. You can see the, uh, beautiful stitching around the emblem and, uh, there is an optional little floral enhancement that goes inside the emblem and I'm going to run that now. All right, I did the floral enhancement and you can see that now. And uh, I wish I would have done it in green, but I didn't. I'm out of the pink uh, thread, so the next steps are the quilting in the various areas. There'll be quilting here, which is the honeycomb quilting, and then uh, the diamonds with single uh, lines will be down here in this part 
So this is next up here. Let me start that and I'm going to run it in yellow because that's what I have the most of. So I'll be back shortly. All right, the uh, quilting, the hunting home quilting has been run at the top. I think it's quite uh, beautiful. And now I'll run the uh, diamonds with single lines in the bottom part of the uh, purse. So hold on, stay tuned for that. All right, you can see now that uh, the quilting has been uh, accomplished on the top part of the purse and the bottom part. And uh, we're getting down to the brass tacks now. I'm going to remove this piece of tape over here on the side that initially held the zipper down. I'm going to open the zipper. Uh, no, I'm telling you a story again. I always do this lately. I'm going to turn the... Uh, no, I am going to do that. What am I doing? Uh, actually, I'm not going to open the zipper yet. I'm going to, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to remove the piece of tape up here at the top because it's uh, time to let this piece of uh, fabric be, uh, the lining fabric, roll over to the back of the purse. And I'm going to take and remove pieces of tape up here. There's one, and there's another one over here. There's two. All right. And then I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to smooth it down. And I'm going to take uh, tape. Let me reach over and get some tape and I'm going to tape it right here like that and grab another piece of tape and tape it here okay and then I'm going to stick this in the uh, sewing machine and it will run uh, It'll tack down, uh, it'll go around all four sides and tack down the, the uh, lining on the back side. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, that step is run. Let's turn it over and look and make sure that it, uh, yes, it did sew this down perfectly. Now we need to remove whatever stabilizer is behind this. So whatever you use to stabilizer needs to be removed from behind the zipper. And I use just paper towels. So let me see if I can one-handedly do this. And I did. Okay. Now, that takes care of that. Now let's turn it back over to the front. And now we will open this zipper. It should open up just fine. I had already re removed that piece of tape, so that's not an issue. Okay, and let's open it about three quarters of the way. Okay, now I'm going to do something a little different here. Well... Let me go get the. Oh. Let me go get what I need here. I need the back. I need the. Uh, and I need one of these. Okay. I usually put uh, two uh, of these little connectors along the top here, but I think I'm going to make this more of what would be a, like a wristlet instead of for a crossbody bag. So I'm going to take and put this in, oh, just slightly down from the uh, line here, and I'm going to tape it down. Let me see, like, oh, it's moving on me. Don't move. Okay. 
like so, okay. And then I'm going to tape down the piece of metal. Okay, that's taped down. Uh, all right, and now I'm going to take my back piece of fabric, which is the same beautiful fabric. And let me see, this would be the correct orientation. Put it face down. Uh, it needs a little, let me stop the camera and give it a little press. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to take the back piece now that I've uh, ironed it flat. I'm going to take it, and this is the correct orientation. I'm just going to roll it over like that and place it. Let me see. I want to make sure that it's at least a quarter of an inch. Oh, it's a half inch above the zipper. Make sure it's at least a quarter of an inch above the zipper. And let's see how it's doing over. It's fine there. It's fine at the bottom. And then also take your last piece of batting and place it over the same. And uh, I'm going to straighten that a little bit when I turn the camera off. But I'm going to put this in the uh, machine and run uh, the second to the last uh, uh, step. So I'll be right back. All right, you can see that uh, the bag has, in essence, been closed up. It's been sewn together on all four sides. And the most important thing is that the zipper is uh, inside. It's right here. I can feel it. So uh, now let's get ready to run the next step. We're going to turn the hoop over to the back side. And we're going to take and put our last piece of lining fabric face down covering the lining that's already here and making sure that uh, it covers at least by a quarter of an inch uh, the top of the zipper so uh, I think it will be fine I'm going to take and put tape on all four corners and run the next and last step and I'll meet you back in a moment. All right, the last step has been run. Uh, let's turn it over to the back where we can see what happened. Uh, it looks uh, fine. It left a nice gap for us to turn the bag through. So as I said, the sewing is finished and let's take this out of the uh, take the bag out of the hoop look at the hoop and make sure there's no tape on it I like to get the tape off before before I put it away uh, let me see uh, oh, there's some tape up there off get off there okay I'll put this aside okay all right now I always turn my uh, to complete this task I turn it over to the backs the lining side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to go in at an angle and cut right up to the point where the uh, uh, stitching starts as you can see right right there the stitching starts and then I'm going to turn the turn the um, scissors and go up the uh, side of the bag about a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch away from the uh, stitch line and go all the way around and then here at the very end I'm going to come in at an angle again also and stop right here and then cut this at an angle uh, leaving all of this alone for the moment so let me do that and I'll show you what that looks like in a moment 
All right, now you can see I have trimmed it off uh, on all, uh, on three of the sides at least. And I've cut as, at an angle here on both sides. And what I'm going to do now is take and, let's turn it this way, take and pull back this first piece of lining and then the longer second piece of lining. And then I'm going to take my scissors and get very close to this fabric here, but not cut it get very close, maybe a 32nd of an inch and or so, a uh, 16th of an inch, and cut all of this stuff here, all of this here, that's batting, fabric, several pieces of fabric, and my uh, stabilizer. Just cut through across here and get rid of all of this stuff here. This part's junk, but don't cut off your lining. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, now I did, uh, I have these two pieces of lining left, and then I cut the rest off, as you see, which is exactly what I said to do. And then I'm going to take and turn off camera. I'm going to reach in here and turn the bag out uh, through this uh, large gap here. And let me put the camera down while I do that. All right. I have turned the bag out and now you see on both sides the lining fabric. That's what you should be looking at now is lining fabric on both sides. And I'm going to take and turn this shorter piece of lining folded in like I'm doing and then take uh, you know, iron and give it a little press to set a crease there. Okay and then take this longer piece and do the exact same thing, fold it in, and uh, these angled pieces should go off to the side over on this direction and over on this direction. So make sure and fold it in nicely also and give it a press. And then take it to your sewing machine and you're going to sew a line of stitches close to the edge here, right? to close this gap up. So do that and uh, come back when you're done and meet me here. All right, I have uh, sewn this together and I'm gonna take and do a little trimming with my snippers here of some stray pieces of uh, thread. Okay, well that's about it for the moment. I can work on it later. All right, now we're down to the very end. I'm gonna have to do this off camera, unfortunately, but reach in here, open your zipper as far as you can get it. Oh, come on there, open up, okay. And reach in and turn this bag out and let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I have turned the bag out and kind of pressed out the corners here as best as I could. And I took and take your zipper and kind of mold it into the way it should be. And uh, let me see, okay. And then pull the zipper together if you can. Oh, come on, there we go. And I'm holding my camera again instead of using my tripod because the camera was not uh, focusing. Uh, maybe it's got a slight problem, I don't know, but it is, today I don't have $500 to replace it, so that's just the way it is. Anyhow, I'm going to take and put my pressing cloth over this, and I'm going to give it a good press on the front and the back, and uh, it will be done. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this. I think it turned out beautifully. Um, if you obtain the pattern, I hope you'll make something beautiful for yourself or friends. And by all means, please post whatever you make on my group page. We all love to see uh, the creations of others uh, for inspiration and admiration. And uh, 
I always take time to thank those who continue to support me and encourage me because it means more than you'll ever know. So anyhow, I hope you have a good, this is a Saturday morning. It's taken me three days to film this in various parts of it, but finally I'm done on a Saturday morning. So thank you once again and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.